Hello, my name is Dirk Jan Aten Bogaert, and today I would like to show you how you can convert a WebEx team space into a single HTML file. This will basically export all of the messages and all of the information inside this space and store it as a single HTML file. This is done using a Python script. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. So let's see how it works. First, you can see I downloaded the file, the script, into an empty folder. And I open the terminal window in the same folder. And what I do now is I run the script. And as you can see, an error message appears. The error message is because it doesn't have a configuration file. And therefore, it will, as you can see right there, it will create a configuration file. When that file is created, you can edit the file. And the first thing you have to configure is your token. Your developer token is used to get access to your WebEx Teams environment. And let's see how you can get your token by going to developer.webex.com. On the top right, you will be able to log in. However, in this case, I'm already logged in. And once you're logged in, you go to documentation, getting started, and you'll see your personal access token. When you click copy and OK, it will basically copy your token and you can go back, back to your configuration file and save the token. Once your token is saved, you still need your the space ID. You can get the space ID from the developer.webex.com website, or you run the same script, but now with your token, and enter a search argument. What it will now do is it will get a list of all of the spaces that I'm a member of, which in my case is thousands, so it, it takes a bit, and it will return any match, matching space name. In this case, it has found the space that I'm looking for, so I paste, I paste it in my configuration file, and that means I can now run the script again without arguments, and it will, it will go. It will use the APIs to go to WebEx Teams, get the space name, get all of the messages, get the membership, the members of the space, and if possible, it will download files, but we will, we will do that later. Uh, but it will also create a folder, as you can see. Every time you run the script, it will create a folder um, and put the generated contents inside that folder. So, as you can see, the script has finished, and we can look at the folder, and it contains an HTML file. What does it look like? Here it is. The degenerated HTML file will have a header with the name of the space. It will have configuration items. So you, you can see if you wanted to download files, if there was a message limit, etc and the time and date plus the person who generated the archive. Below that you can see an index that allows you to jump uh, back and forth with the number of messages and some statistics. Below that you can see messages just like they appear in WebEx Teams itself. Attachments like this one are not downloaded because we haven't configured that but it will show the name of the, of the attachment and the file size. Same applies to images. What you will notice is that there is no av user avatars. And if you don't configure to use avatars, then it will take the initials and show them right there. When you scroll down, a, a little arrow pops up that allows you to scroll back to the top immediately. 
So let's make it more interesting. Let's look at the configuration file, make some changes, and do a lot more than we've done so far. So I'm going to set these first, and then I will run the script. That makes it easier. So what happens next? Um, it will start to download the messages, it will start to download the, the members, it, and as you can see, the file name deferred the folder already existed. So it will create a new folder with dash zero one. So it will basically go continue like that, dash zero two, dash zero three, etc. It also started to download the actual avatar files. Let's look at the configuration. If you want to download files, you have uh, a few options. You can say no, that means no download like we just did. You can select images which will only download image files, or you can select files. And files will download both, will basically download every file, whether it's an image, PowerPoint, a PDF, etc. Note that if you archive a large space that has a lot of attachments in it, it can take a while. Avatars have a few options. So you can do no avatar, which is what you just saw. It will show the initials. You can set it to link, and with link, it will not download the avatar, but it will get the av user's avatar URL and point to that. That means if you open the HTML file that is generated, it will need an internet connection in order to show the avatar. Alternatively, you select download, and then it will download the actual user avatar and place that in a folder. The maximum number of messages can be restricted in two ways, either by the number of messages or by the number of days. So when you set this to 120 days, it will more or less get four months worth of messages. In large spaces, that could still result in a, in a huge amount of messages. So think about what it is that you want there. Output files can be configured to overrule the file name, the file that is generated. In our example, you can see it uses the name of the space that we're archiving. But when you configure this, it will use the name you configure uh, as the folder name and the HTML file. Sorting can be set. Uh, by default, it is set, sort old new is set to yes, and that means the, the latest message is at the bottom of the file. That is just how it appears in your WebEx Teams clients, whether it's mobile or desktop. If you set it to no, the most recent message will, will appear at the top. The last configuration item you can set is no uh, output JSON. So if you set it to no, no files are generated. If you set it to JSON only, all the message data will also be out, uh, sent to a, a JSON file. If you set it to text, it will also generate a flat text file with all the messages, or both, and it will basically generate both files. As you can see right here, a new folder has been created with dash zero one, and it has subfolders for avatars and files and images. So they're all nicely stored in separate folders. And as you can see, it also has the JSON file containing all of the message data. Right now, it's still in the process of downloading files and images. And this space actually has a lot of, uh, has a few very, very big files in it. So it, it takes a, a bit. Um, but once that's done, we can uh, look at the result. So let's uh, wait a little bit.
So while we're waiting, you can get the script file from uh, th this GitHub page. I'll share the URL with you. And the only thing you need is the Python file. So you download that and then you're all set. In the meantime, the script has finished. All the files have been downloading. The HTML file has been generated. And that's what you'll see right there. The HTML file is there and it also uh, created the text file that contain, also contains all of the messages. So what does the HTML file look like? It's right there. The top part is uh, just like, like the previous run. However, below that you will see that all the users now have avatars, so there's a nice image. Attached files now actually can be clicked because they are stored in the files subdirectory. And images can be clicked and they are shown. If you click it, it will, uh, it will pop up and you can look at it. To close it, you click it, you just click anywhere or you press escape. So this is what I wanted to show you. Please try it out. If there's any issues, uh, let me know. If there's any feedback or questions, if you need support, uh, on the GitHub page at the bottom, there is a, a link, enter your feedback. When you click that, there's a little uh, a space form opens. Uh, this is a different application that I wrote. Uh, basically, anything you type here will be sent to my WebEx Teams account. Um, if you enter your real email address um, and let me know that I want you want me to get back to you, I will do so. Excellent. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day.